Thames Water CEO has confirmed they are doing everything within their power to ensure that their issues are fixed, including performing a rain dance for the gods. The private water company has been accused of leaking up to 250 Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of water a day, which is probably why our Olympic diving team keeps getting all those head injuries. They've also paid out billions to shareholders since privatisation in 1991. Speaking today, the newly resigned CEO, Sarah Bentley, confirmed that she thought it was fair and had this to say. Water is no longer a human right. Wait, sorry. That's next year's speech. Right, here we go. Water is a human right, but it's a premium one you have to pay. And if you thirsty cretins can't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you. The UK government is allegedly preparing a bailout plan to save Thames Water to the tune of 1.6 billion. So just to summarise, they sold off water for fuck all. The private companies let the entire infrastructure system become something akin to a sieve whilst they all made billions in profit. And now it's fully drained in both ways. We, the taxpayer, pick up the slack. Capiche? Personally, I think we should talk to these CEOs, executives, board members up close. The board members. The water board members, so to speak. I'll grab a towel, you guys grab the jug, and anyone who still has access to good water, you bring that.